Hello dear viewers, in this episode I'm going to talk about 1954 Jefferson Nichols struck in Philadelphia. This one is from Philadelphia for sure as it bears no mint mark near the Monticello building on the reverse. Heavily circulated, poorly struck and tarnished specimen, it's likely in fine condition by Sheldon's scale, which is considered below average circulated grade in numismatics. Some letters on obverse are not fully struck, for example S and T in a truss dissolving to edge like in wrong planchet error coins. For 1954, U.S. Mint struck over 48 million five cents in Philadelphia. The 1954 Jefferson nickel in general is not considered to be scarce or rare coin. The mintage numbers indicate that a substantial number of these nickels were produced, making them relatively common. The value of a 1954 Jefferson nickel varies depending on several factors, including its condition, mint mark and any potential errors or varieties. In circulated conditions, the 1954 Jefferson nickel typically carries a value close to its face value of 5 cents. However, if coin is in uncirculated or pristine condition, it may carry a higher premium. For instance, full steps in MS66 grade are valued at $2150 according to PCGS price guide. Anything above that grade is considered rare and is worth big money. This is one of the most valuable 1954 Jefferson nickels in mean state 66 with full steps. Ultimate gem with non numerically finer. Bold cartwheel luster supports rich golden iridescence throughout, a difficult date to locate with full design details, as in Lincoln scent of the same date. It was sold for $8,812.50 at Stex Bowers auction. Thanks for watching, guys. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Have a wonderful day.